okay so i have this beautiful corset that i made okay it's a, an overbust corset and i don't want it to be so plain because i use just one fabric so i decided to embellish this neckline area so i have this applique as well that i'm going to use to embellish it so embellishment is totally up to you depends on how creative you are and the types of trimmings that you have to work with so basically what i'm doing now is just looking at this corset and trying to see how i can place this in a way that is going to be really beautiful and i don't want it to be too much and you can see how wide the trimming i'm working with is so what you can do now is to grab your sodding iron and then you just just use that to trace out what you have you can just place it first and see what you have. I have cut this out. I don't have a sodium iron presently. So if you have that, it's going to make your work a lot easier because all of these nets beside it, you may not want them to be on it. So there are several ways you can actually attach this applique. You can use your glue. If you have a very strong glue that you know will work out, you can use your glue or you just sew it on. So for I think I'm going to be sewing around this net area so I'm leaving a little bit of it so before I do that what I'm going to do is just to pin this applique in place so that I can see how I want it to you can see how it's just bringing this to life so I'm just going to try to pin in place so that I can see how I really want it to stand so once I'm okay with what I have there I'll just go ahead and sew it so another thing you should take note of especially if you're working with trimmings that have bits like this so these bits usually are connected so you don't want to by any means touch any of them because in most cases if you just try to rip any of them all of them will come off so when you're trying to trim all of this off you should be as careful as possible and make sure that you just avoid all these connecting bits that you have there so now i'm going to go ahead and start cutting them out now and place them how i want so i'm only applying this on the cup area and i want them to be really similar so i just looked at what i have here and i have one that are similar so i just cut them out unfortunately the stone on this has ripped off so i'm just going to look for something else to fill up that space so now that i have something similar i'm looking at a way i can place it okay just like this so you just play around with it so once you are okay with what you have you pin it down and then again i'll bring the applique and look for another one that i feel is similar so i have this three beautiful beaded roses here and i think i have exactly this on this other side as well so i'm just going to place them here and use that to complete the design that i am aiming for so what i'm going to do now is to just detach this particular place from my from my from my trimming and like i said you can see this the bit for this row stops here okay and then the next one begins here so that's what i'm saying when you're cutting this you have to be careful and watch this carefully so that i don't go and rip what you're not supposed to touch so once you are okay with that now you can see i have successfully detached it from the rest so i am going to pin it in place and then use my needle and thread to just tack them together after gluing it so i like to use glue and then tack for security because i don't want them to come off by the time it's being washed or something so i'll just do the same thing for this other side as well i'm going to try to make a an exact replica of what i have done here and then i'll place on the other side so i've cut out all i need and i'm going to keep the rest for another use because trimmings can be quite expensive so now i am pinning it down and then i'm going to either use a glue to hold this down first or i just go ahead and tack it in place but it's important to pin it so that you can see how it looks like if you are okay with it if you want to change anything okay so after placing it like i said now i have threaded my needle and i've started tacking it so you can see now that it has tacked onto it and it's not going to fall off at all so i decided not to put glue at all because the glue that i have is white and i don't want it to stain this fabric so you just make sure you tack it as much as possible and when you are tacking make sure that your 
your tags are not showing on the lining part so you just try as much as possible to place your needle and then suspend it in between the main fabric and the lining you don't want it to okay so you can see how it's coming out from here you don't want this you don't want it to come out so you just make sure you just pass it under the lining so that it doesn't show and once you pass it you're going to bring it out from here and then you tack again so when you do this you check and you see that there's nothing showing on this side so this is how i'm going to go ahead and tack everything that i have pinned you can see i have pinned them in place and i like what i see so i'll go ahead and tack all of them now and when i'm done tacking it i'll bring it back for us to see how beautiful this embellishment has made their corset look